सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल टूडे इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट अ फैसिनेटिंग टॉपिक ऑफ स्वर्लिंग फ्लो विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज वॉटेक्स फ्लो एंड वेस टू प्रिवेंट द क्रिएशन ऑफ स्वर्लिंग फ्लो सो फर्स्टली विल बी गेन अ डिस्कशन विथ वॉट इज अ स्वर्लिंग फ्लो स्वर्लिंग फ्लो इज अ टाइप ऑफ फ्लूड मोशन वेद द फ्लूड रोटेट्स अराउंड एन एक्सिस एंड क्रिएट्स अ मेसमराइजिंग स्वर्लिंग और स्पाइरल पैटर्न दिस फिनोमिना can occur in both gases and liquid and has some intriguing characteristics okay now we'll discuss about some key characteristics and points to understand about the swirling flow where we will start with first that is rotation around an axis here firstly imagine a fluid moving in a circular pattern or a helical path which is around a center axis it's like graceful dance within the fluid where the particles swirling either clockwise or anti clockwise and it depends on various factors so this was about the rotation around an axis next comes the formation of vortices within this swirling flow we have something which is called as vortices vortices are the region in the fluid where the fluid velocity of the particle is significantly different from the surrounding area here think of them as a mini whirlpool or eddies that can vary in size and intensity now what are the causes of swirling flow so it can be triggered by various factors such as change in pipe geometry high fluid velocity turbulence or obstacles in the flowing path you can even find swirling flow occurring naturally in environmental fluid dynamics which is like the creation of tornado or hurricanes now looking at the effects so swirling flow is an just a interesting phenomena but it has a real to world implications in some cases it is beneficial such as in industrial process where it helps in mixing or particle separation but in other situation it can be challenging where it leads to efficiency problem increased energy consumption or many other structural issues and so to manage the swirling flow engineers used various techniques like flow straighteners baffles diffusers and some adjustment to fluid velocity and even in pipe geometry understanding swirling flow is crucial in various engineering disciplines including chemical engineering fluid dynamics and even in mechanical engineering as it can impact the efficiency and performance of the fluid systems in many industrial applications so guys this was about a brief about what is swirling flow where we discussed a little about rotation around an axis formation of vortices causes of swirling flow then effects of swirling flow and the ways to prevent the swirling flow in brief but now we will discuss about the prevention and controlling of vortex formation in detail so let's dive into the world of prevention and controlling of vortex formation in the engineering applications here imagine that you are in a charge of a fluid system and you need to ensure that it operates effectively and safely well here are some methods and strategy to make it happen from which the first is the use of flow straighteners flow straighteners are also known as flow conditioners or straightening vents these are the devices which are designed to reduce the turbulence and promote smoother or more laminar flow they are like the traffic cops of the fluid which keeps the thing smooth and orderly they are generally installed in the upstream of the critical components like pumps or flow meters and to prevent messy vortex traffic flow straighteners help align the flow profile and minimize the swirl and irregularities in the fluid motion this is for a case where we need to reduce or prevent the vortex formation or the vortex flow and transform it into a smooth or a laminar flow now next comes the baffles Baffles are the physical barrier or vents which are strategically placed in fluid containers or even in pipes which is to disrupt the vortex formation. For easy understanding, think of the baffle as a speed bumps but for swirling flow. These baffles are strategically placed in the tanks and pipes. They disrupt the vortex formation and redirect the flow. The baffles are properly designed to redirect the flow. and dissipate the energy by reducing the potential for vortex formation so here in the case of baffles it is a type of physical barrier which is used to prevent the vortex formation inside a vessel or a pipe 
so to have a proper mixing now guys next comes the adjustment of fluid velocity sometimes fluid gets too excited and causes vortices especially in tight corners we can calm them down by just adjusting the fluid velocity it's like finding the right speed on a windy road adjusting the flow rate or using throttling valve to control the fluid velocity within the acceptable limits can help prevent the formation of vortex so this is one of the most easiest fundamental for the prevention of vortex where just by controlling the fluid velocity we can prevent the formation of vortex now up next comes the use of swirl breakers so swirl breakers are specialized component that are designed to break up the swirling flow patterns they are like the blender blades for the fluid they break up the swirling patterns and restore order in pipelines and vessels swirl breakers can come in various forms which includes fixed blade or rotating vanes and they work up by disrupting the rotation motion of the fluid okay now one of the most easy way for the prevention of vortex formation is by offsetting the position of impeller where you can just mount the impeller away from the center of the vessel or in some cases you can tilt it in a direction which is perpendicular to the flow direction or in other cases you can just off center the propeller so this is a way where vortex formation can be controlled just by offsetting the impeller from the center or by placing it perpendicular to the direction of the flow and just by doing this you can prevent the formation of vortex and for this video the last way to prevent the vortex formation is by just pre planning the things where computational fluid dynamics analysis is been used the use of cfd stimulations to model the fluid flow within a system and identify the areas where the vortex formation can occur this is generally done before selection of any equipment or before designing of any type of equipment here for cfd analysis to make it easy for you to understand think of it as a fluid detective the cfd helps us identify the potential vortex trouble spots and make the changes in the design this allows the engineer to make the design modification and optimize the system or the components to mitigate the vortex related issues so guys these were some of the ways to prevent the vortex formation so guys these were some of the ways to be safe from vortex formations hope these methods are clear to you and guys that's all for this video where we discuss about the dynamics of swirling flow and the ways to prevent the vortex formation where we discussed about the six ways to prevent the vortex formation let's quickly recall the methods where we discussed about the use of flow straighteners then use of baffles preventing the vortex by adjusting the fluid velocity then use of swirl breakers a simple way to prevent the vortex formation just by offsetting the position of the impeller and lastly we discussed about the computational fluid dynamics analysis so guys that's all for this video hope you like this video and thank you for watching and for more informative video related to chemical engineering process engineering chemical safety industrial safety you can subscribe to this channel and guys as always feel free to leave any questions or comment down below thanks for watching and see you next video